A rare Vincent van Gogh self-portrait, which was thought to be a fake, has now been lauded as a genuine work of art after a six-year study by researchers. The painting on display at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam was thought to be real until the 1970s, when questions about the color scheme and painting techniques were raised by experts. Louis van Tilburg, the museum's senior researcher, said an example of the painting's deviation from Van Gogh's usual style was, quote, a greenish tint for the hair, which he hardly ever uses. However, the canvas he used was his usual, and Van Tilburg went on to comment that the artist used tones of more dark and muddled vibrant blues and greens to reflect his dour mental state. This is part of what makes the painting so remarkable and even therapeutic. It is the only work that Van Gogh is known for certain to have created while suffering from psychosis, Van Tilburg said to The Guardian. Another doubt was his use of a palette knife, but it turns out the artist used the tool a lot to suppress certain parts of the paintings from appearing too lively. Van Tilburg said the artist was most likely trying to reflect his mental state by draining the vibrancy of it. The painting is now said to be a part of a temporary exhibit at the museum starting February 21st.